guys, I'm gonna show you how to make the cutest receiving blanket ever. It's so easy, you don't even need a pattern, just sew along with me. To make this, you just need eight 10 inch background squares, eight 10 inch print squares, a backing fabric, and some decorative threads. Our first step is to make 16 half square triangles. You're gonna place a background fabric and a print fabric right sides together. Draw a line from corner to corner and stitch a quarter inch away. I'm using RFL Color 2000 today, but I'm showing you red thread just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. You're gonna cut apart in the center and press open, and you're gonna make 16. Assemble four half square triangles into four rows. This is how I laid mine out. Press each row in a different direction and give it a final press. Now I've got a backing fabric that's approximately one and one eighth yards. It's just slightly bigger than the receiving blanket. I've placed my top on my backing right sides together. I've pinned in every triangle to keep it together. Now we're going to use our Creative Grits ruler and we're gonna trim around all four sides. Now we're gonna use the Creative Grids Corner Cutter Ruler. We're going to align the top of the ruler and the right, and on the three inch radius corner, we're going to line up this diagonal line with our half square triangle, and we're going to cut. Now I'm gonna use a few pins to hold it in place for the next step. Now we're gonna stitch all the way around the edge leaving an opening about the size of a half square triangle. That is so we can flip it out later. We're gonna sew with a quarter inch seam and back stitch when we start and stop. Now we're almost done. You're gonna take your receiving blanket, flip it right side out. So now we've turned it right side out and we're going to press. First, I'm gonna press all the way around the edge. I'm gonna use a Dritz point turner to really push everything very even. And you know, if you're not careful ironing, you can iron just like this, and that's gonna give you a really ugly pleat. So I like to be very careful and get everything perfectly even on the front and the back. So on the front, you don't see the back, and on the back, you don't see the front. And I just use my nails and just make it very taut. Just get it perfectly aligned and press. Once I've pressed, I'm going to pin so when we do our decorative stitches, everything stays in place. You're going to do that all the way around the edge. We're going to fold in approximately a quarter inch. And now we're gonna do the back the same. We're gonna pin our opening closed and now I'm gonna show you how you top stitch this closed. Now we're gonna add our decorative stitches that's gonna add that personal touch to your receiving blanket. We used RFL 12 weight on the top and 50 weight on the bottom. 12 weight is gonna give you a hand stitched look. I'm going to stitch all the way around the edge, not even an eighth of an inch away, and that's gonna close up your opening. Once I'm done, I'm gonna take this to the ironing board, iron it completely flat and pin. Then I'm gonna take a pink decorative color, and I'm going to stitch with 12 weight a quarter inch away on the background fabric. I'm using a 3.0 stitch length because it gives more of a hand stitched look. We hope you love our adorable receiving blanket. I'll see you next time.